ISIS continues its series of attacks on the Syrian army in desert areas in central Syria. Following the large attack on the army near Eritrea last week, ISIS cells stormed positions of pro-government forces in the vicinity of the city of al mayadeen on the western bank of the Euphrates. According to pro-militant sources, the terrorists killed eight Iranian-backed fighters and captured three others. Earlier in June, the Iranian-backed militia Liwa al fatemion deployed reinforcements to the al mayadeen countryside in response to the growing threat of attacks from ISIS cells in the area. Nonetheless, without active actions, these reinforcements became a target of ISIS attacks themselves. To contain the growing ISIS threat, the Syrian Air Force recently deployed attack helicopters and warplanes at Derizor Airport in order to employ them in raids against ISIS cells in the desert. A former emir of ISIS, Raka Wiliat Fayaz al Akal, was killed as a result of a supposedly U.S. drone strike in the Turkish occupied town of Al Bab in northern Syria. Al Akal and his younger brother, Izu Al Akal, were killed by what is believed to be an AGM 114 R9X Hellfire missile on June 20th. Another one of Fayaz's brothers, Abu al Harith, was a commander of Jabhat al Nusra, the Syrian branch of Al Qaeda, in Raqqa before it was fully captured by ISIS and killed in a Syrian airstrike in 2013. Now, Jabhat al Nusra is known as Hayat Turi al Sham and controls most of Greater Idlib, enjoying direct assistance from the Turkish armed forces that fiercely oppose any anti terrorist operations there. As to former ISIS members in the provinces of Raqqa and Deir Azor, a notable part of them fled to the Turkish-occupied areas where they joined either Turkish-backed militant groups or U.S.-backed formations in northeastern Syria and in the Al-Tanf area. A firefight between the Syrian army and Turkish-backed militants erupted near the villages of Umushba and Al-Asadia in the province of Al-Hasaka. The Turkish army also shelled the village of Kubur al karajina while Turkish-led forces conducted no large-scale offensive action, the recent tensions on the contact line in northeastern Syria coincided with the deployment of additional forces of Turkish-backed militant groups. Therefore, Ankara may have been laying the groundwork for a new escalation in the region. On June 19th and June 21st, YPG-affiliated Kurdish rebels killed at least 13 members of Turkish-backed militant groups in Bosufane in the Afrin region and Al-Numan near Al-Bab. Pro-Kurdish sources claim that YPG-linked cells will continue their attacks on Turkish-led forces as long as they occupy Afrin. These attacks are a constant source of concern on the Turkish side and one more destabilizing factor in northern Syria.